hardcore joining Heroes? Um, well, I mean, I never really watched Heroes when it first came out. Um, but for, you know, when I was auditioning, you know, I started to watch it. Um, so I watched it on Netflix, all of it, and I'm a big fan of that. Now I am. <laughs> so. Yeah, I was never too much into comic books, but um, you know, I played video games a lot when I was a younger, uh, when I was a kid. So I, uh, I like the idea of having your special abilities or that extraordinary sense of purpose. Um, and I'd heard about uh, Heroes before. My, my, I have two older sisters that watched the show religiously when it was on the TV. Um, so again, when, when auditioning, I decided to delve into the show and uh, was immediately hooked on it. So I was very excited by it. So what can you tell us about your character? Is that Okay. Um, I play Melina. Um, Melina is this bold, ethereal, kind of mysterious teenage girl. Um, I mean, she, she grew up a lot differently than, differently than most would. Um, you know, she's kind of told from the beginning that she was destined for greatness. So whereas most people with powers, you know, they would kind of suppress it or try and hide it, uh, she embraced it and was constantly training um, so that way she could be the best she could be and be there when she was needed. Yeah, um, she has the power to harness all of the elements. Wow. All of them? How yeah, fun is them. that to play? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Actually, when I, was, um, when I was younger, I used to go around the house pretending like I had these powers. And you know the cartoon airbender? Yes. Yeah. I thought I was him. Um, <laughs> so being that I'm, I'm kind of him now in as Melina, it's, it's amazing because I'm like, yeah, I can finally do this. <laughs> Um, so it's, it's, it's fantastic. How about you, Robbie? Yeah, to Tommy uh, lives a relatively unsettled life as a result of the fact that he has a power. Um, he's always on the move with his mother. Um, and given the fact that Evo is persecuted now because it's out in the open, it's, it's public, um, he can't really say anything about it because he knows that he'll be persecuted if he does. So he's almost sworn to secrecy. And um, that's very troubling for him given that he, he has this power and that uh, he doesn't quite understand it and he doesn't quite know how to control it. What is his power? Um, he has the power to make things disappear. Like, it's eliminated or... Like, he doesn't know. He has no idea whether it's eliminated or transferred from one place to another and so that becomes a morality issue for him. Do we delve a little bit into how they find out they have the powers or do we just find them when they already are aware of it? Well, for Melina, I mean, she kind of knew from the beginning that she had these powers. You know, um, you know, as I said before, you know, she was destined for greatness, so she just she grew up with them. Um, and I mean, she's kind of secluded from everything else, so she it's safe for her, and she doesn't really understand that it's like not uh, a good thing to have these things. Uh, so she's just they were always there for her, very normal. Yeah, the show kind of picks up with uh, Tommy aware of his power, uh, but again, he doesn't quite. Uh, know and understand it um, so as the series progresses you kind of get to see a little bit more of his exploration of his power uh, how it goes from one thing to the next how it affects his life directly um, so it's quite interesting it's nice it's, it kind of goes back to the original hero's theme where you pick up with, with someone in a, in a modest kind of upbringing a modest sort of uh, stance and then having them discover their own abilities and seeing how that affects their lives so were your two storylines kind of show us the, the effects of being, living with the superpower in a, persecution, in a world of persecution in yours. It seems like your, your character grew up with I'm very celebrating isolated it. from everything else. But in the, in the environment that she grows up in, is she, she's celebrated, right? So does she, is well, she, does she know that there's... No, I mean, I kind of grew up... I mean, I know that I spent the last two years in the Arctic, you know, because that's where it's safe to use my powers. Okay. Um, you know, so it doesn't get out of control. And... She doesn't really have any experience in the real world with actual people. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, she, there's one person with her, and they're kind of her protector. But other than that, she, she has no idea what's going on out there in the real world. Right. So it's not like she's really celebrated, like, ah, oh, you're a hero. Um, it's just like, it's just there for her. Mm -hmm. Do your characters interact, or are there four lines? Um, we can't say anything specifically, but um, again, with the regular heroes trend, um, 
everyone starts off in a different point, so it's almost like we're shooting five different series at once. Um, but again, eventually characters converge, um, their storylines converge, and you begin to see how they're all connected. Um, so you'll, you'll definitely see some interactions between all of all of our different characters at some point. Mm-hmm. Sure. Based on what we've seen in book and stuff like that, you see that Tommy is like you know, like Peter from the original series is kind of like the the risky character because of his powers. So is, it, is he kind of like a danger to everyone around him because he can make him just disappear like that? Absolutely, and and that terrifies Tommy. Um, he he he's a very kind-hearted individual, and he doesn't want to do anyone any harm. But the fact that he has the ability to absolutely terrifies him. I mean, he might he might touch something and then it's in, and then it's gone because he doesn't quite know how to control it. Yet. So that's a real issue. He doesn't quite want to embrace it yet. Um, but again, the similarity is, is that there's that discovery element to it. So how, how far is it going to go? So he has trouble controlling his power, so are we going to see some things that disappear that shouldn't disappear? Maybe. That he didn't intend to have disappear, like the family dog suddenly. <laughs> oh, that would be sad, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, it's an eagle's laughing maniacally. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> I love dogs. I love dogs. I won't make you a dog this bit, all right. <laughs> so is this your first Comic Con? It is. Yeah? yeah? Have you been out on the floor at all? Not yet. Really. You haven't? No. I mean, I kind of... I mean, yesterday I took like five minutes maybe, and it wasn't really like fully... Saturday's not a yeah. good first day, I gotta say. That's the busiest day. <laughs> That's like, it's solid people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I didn't really get to explore. I mean, I wish I had time, but... I mean, this is great. Yeah, this is fantastic, so... <laughs> yeah, our schedule's been pretty crazy. We had some time on Friday. Uh, I walked the floor for a little bit on Friday. It's just amazing to see all of the, the independent booths uh, creating art, mm-hmm. creating all these comic books and uh, all these masks and stuff. It's just, it's really, really cool to see. It's a lot of fun. It is fun. Yeah. We've had a great weekend.